Hi all. Welcome to this short video of Cano analysis. In this video, we will talk about how the features are analyzed and prioritized for the product development. Professor Noriaki Kano introduced a theory for product development and customer satisfaction back in 1980s. This theory classifies customer preferences according to few categories. Later on, with few changes, this theory was adopted in IT segment as what we know today as Kano analysis. It is a process used to identify product or service features from customer's point of view. The technique analyzes the features in four categories as threshold, performance, exciting, and indifferent features. The technique is helpful to determine which features are most important to implement before releasing a solution to the market. It can also help identify which features should be defocused. There can be several factors of defocusing like market position of the organization, competitors performance, budget constraints, or could be something else. Cano analysis requires extensive customer study. The resulting graph is then plotted on a matrix, something like this. The analysis can help identify features that will give a unique position for the product in the market. Let us understand the elements of the technique. We will take each category one by one. Threshold. Threshold characteristics are those that are absolutely necessary for stakeholders to consider adopting a solution. The absence of these features will cause intense dissatisfaction among the customers, but their presence will not dramatically increase customer satisfaction. Performance characteristics. Performance characteristics are those features for which increase in the delivery of the characteristic produce a fairly linear increase in satisfaction. They represent the features that customers expect to see in a solution. For example, speed, ease of use, other performance factors, etc. Excitement characteristics. These are the features that significantly exceed customer expectations or represent things the customer did not recognize were possible. Their presence will dramatically increase customer satisfaction over time. As these characteristics are not met by anything currently on the market, stakeholders will not tend to think about requirements that describe them. And last, indifferent characteristics. The indifferent characteristics are those which add no value to the customer. In fact, the customers don't want these. These characteristics are not used. They are not represented on the graph because it will negatively affect customer satisfaction and degree of achievement. Point to note here is with time, features can shift from one category to another. For example, the excitement features when seen that are popularly in demand can get moved to threshold category. So the chart needs to be current with the market. Now let us understand to determine the category. Categorization is based on two forms of a question about a feature. Functional form. How do you feel if this feature or characteristic is present in the product? And dysfunctional form. How do you feel if this feature or characteristic is absent in the product? Different questions are framed to answer to see the importance of features, presence or absence. Let us understand usage consideration of Cano analysis. The strength of this technique can determine feature priority based on the desired position in the marketplace. But the technique has its limitations due to its focus. Since the technique focuses only on customer's satisfaction, no other factors are taken into account for backlog prioritization. So this gives a hard time to the product owner analysis or a business analysis practitioner. So we have seen how Cano analysis brings value to the customers by feature prioritization. Hope you have liked the video. For any queries, you can send us mail to info at techcanvas.com or you can call us at the number mentioned here. Tech Canvas team wishes you on your learnings. Thank you.